I feel like I'm on top of the world. We're at Signal Hill and you guys are about to come on the journey with me. There's so much to see, eat and do in the city. But before we do all of that, why not glide into the city? So come journey with us. So for takeoff, um, you're going to stand in front of me. Then we're going to walk forward. And when the glider comes up, I'm going to tell you to run. Okay. When we run, don't sit down, otherwise I'll fall over you. Just keep on your feet, don't sit, jump or anything. Perfect. I'm ready, but I'm so nervous, oh my gosh. <laughs> Turn your feet, we're going to walk. Okay. And now we're going to run. run. Oh, that's what we got. Run. Thank you. Yay! Yay! It's so beautiful. I'm going on this food adventure with six new friends that I met recently. There's Patricia, Eve, Tambari, Tapo, and Refiro. Talk about a powerhouse of women. We've decided to start our weekend at one of Cape Town's most iconic breakfast spots. Hilmalais offers an Afrikaans farmhouse inspired menu. Their ethos lies in turning simple meals into something luxurious. I'm gonna just go through the menu. Girls wanted to go shopping at the VNA waterfront, but first a bite at the newly refurbished Time Out Market. Um, what is your biggest selling point? Yeah, I'll go with the butter chicken curry on the main meals, and then I'll go with the crispy tempura malay chicken society on the lighter meals. <laughs> Let's go see my sweet. Ooh, the girl's excited. This is absolutely fit for me. So stunning. Sweets, wine. Imagine being in Cape Town and not having any wine. Oh my word. Could never be me, yeah. Could never be me. Oh my word, the view. Absolutely. Glorious. Cape Town's famous Long Street has changed over the years. But one thing that has remained is this hidden gem of a sweet treat called Moro Gelato, who serves the smoothest and vegan gelato. So what's special about your gelato? All right, so our gelato, the best special part is we use natural ingredients. Lovely. A big part of the food culture in Cape Town lies in its street food. You cannot leave without trying a Gatsby. A local staple is Cozy Corner, which is a short drive from the CBD. Cozy Corner has been established here since 1973. Very same corner, very same place. When it started out, it was in the heavy apartheid era. And it was a lot of challenges for us as a business back in the day that is owned by non-whites. We've got our Joburg crowd that comes every December. This is people coming from the airport straight here to Cozy Corner to dig into that Gatsby. This has got a lot of history on this very same corner. It's just unbelievable. No trip to Cape Town is complete without a wine tasting. I 
think the girls and I need an education and an indulgence in what is my favorite adult bev. Looking forward to do the wine tasting. Yeah. Uh, here people at home say that South Africa got the best wine. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, that's very true. <laughs> that's very, Look, very I've true. never seen grapes on a vine like this. Oh. I can imagine. Yeah. It's a big on wine. Yeah. yeah. So we've been starting to like, it's been a growing culture. Yeah. It's been a growing interest. There's lots of wine bars, wine cellars. Yeah. There's people who are importing wines from South Africa. Yeah. Yes. And people are really enjoying like the diverse yeah. wines from here. Mm. Yeah. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Really good. Aesthetics. It's nice. Yes, I know. It's beautiful. Oh. I can't wait. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Fantastic. Hey. Welcome to Morganov. Thank um, you. My name is Emil. I'm the winemaker here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll start with our rosé, then going on to a white and then a red. So I'll start pouring the rosé for you. Mm -hmm. and this is a Pinotage Rosé, so this, these grapes come from our farm, mm -hmm. the one you are on now, we have two farms. Um, this, the Rosé comes from this farm, the view near from my other farm, and the cab also comes from this farm. Nice. So, the Rosé is a 100% Pinotage Rosé, it's made from red grapes, that's why it has this colour. Mm -hmm. We just leave it in contact with the skins, with the grape skins for about four hours, mm -hmm. otherwise the color is going to extract too much and then you'll have a red wine and not ah. a rosé. So the second one is the Viognier. So this is my personal favorite mm. wine on the farm. Okay. Reason being, it was the underdog. The grapes <laughs> came into the cellar. I really thought this is not going to make a good wine this mm. year. And at the end of harvest, it really mm. shown its true colors. So this Viognier is a semi-wooded wine. So 80% of it was made in the stainless steel tank, same as the rosé, and 20% was aged in wooden barrels. You can age it for more or less five years. Um, it's Ooh. not really made to age. The rosé is a dream now. I love it. So mm. the Viognier will go with chicken and creamy yes. pasta. Yes. Yeah. Is this a blend or it's not a blend? It's a straight. It's a straight, straight okay. Yeah. Yeah. Still grapes in it. Yes. Oh, so nice. it's a great grape. The last one is our Cab Sav, so Morganov and Stellenbosch overall is known for Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm. This is a 2017 vintage, so it's already got some age to it. Nice. Mm. When you taste this cab, you are going to feel Ooh. the tannins. It's going to give you a dry effect, yeah. but this is good. And um, Normally, a cab has a lot of tannins, which means it's a red wine you can oh, yeah. age for longer. Mm. The longer you age a red wine, the softer these tannins will become. Mm. Cheers, guys! Cheers! Cheers! Drink. Cheers! 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 By this time. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, what an incredible few days in Cape Town. As a foodie, the gems the have gyms. been amazing. It's been so wonderful. I imagine the girl brunch spots, mm. you know, now I know where to take the girlfriends when we're here in Cape Town. Yes. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Toby. It's such a pleasure. I yeah. can't wait for more great. journeys, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The company, the vibes, the, the exciting stuff that we did, the yeah. paragliding. The paragliding. So, oh, so much. Thank you, babe. Here's to Sweet Escapes. It really is the sweetest life. It really, it really is. And that's how you end off the journey of really exploring some of South Africa's hidden gems. Thank you so much for coming on the journey with us. And don't forget to stay curious.